Hi, Hi Floss Tube! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel! <music> Debbie is in Hawaii. So I am uh, substituting for her this week. He is, just like a little bit. Um, this is Steven, and this is Harleen. You've met her many times. She got a little uh, shaved down. <sighs> she did. Steven surprised me. I'll do a before and after picture, but while I was in Costa Rica, he decided to take it upon himself to shave Harley. Well, she snuggles with us a lot more now because of it. Because she's not so hot, because it's like 100 degrees outside, and she kept on all this fur on her, and she was getting mad at So I said, why not do a funny haircut? Or she looks like, I don't know, is it like a mullet? What is this? I don't know. I feel like a pencil head. Yeah, she looks like the back, Beaker. The back of her head's just like the funniest part. Why don't you show the front part now? Can you say it? Show everyone what you have to say. So, we are currently sitting in our new home. We purchased it last month. We're so excited. We're finally moving in. We've painted everything. There's just a few little... carpet little... in. Yep, we just got all new carpet and... It's been a process. It has been. So today I looked like a disaster because we've literally been moving all day long. And next Saturday we're getting like the big truck and doing all like the furniture and everything. But we just live like a few miles away from here so we've been just going back and forth in our cars. And it's been exhausting. So we're super excited though, aren't you excited? I'm excited to get out of grandma's house as much as I will miss yeah. the grandma chronicle. Our grandma's a hoot. She, she's great. Anyway, so, what do we want to talk to it about today? So, um, the first thing is I have a bunch of really cute stuff about Debbie that I'm going to clip in right here. So I did like a little tour of her house just briefly. So, um, I'm going to put that in. So Debbie's gone to The Incredibles. Look, this is Debbie's kitchen. That's where we recorded right there. But I'm putting this in next week. Next week's floss tube, so you're seeing me in the past, but I thought I'd show you her living room, and I didn't know if you guys know that I play the harp. This is my harp. Um, I am obsessed with it. I don't, like, I'm sad that it's always here, but we live with Steven's grandma right now. Um, it will eventually, I have a broken string. Um, we will eventually live in our new home, duh. And this will hopefully come with me. Um, Steven's grandma has two terrible dogs and I don't want them near my harp. And the chance of that happening is very high, so I didn't want it there. But there's my harp. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. What else was I going to show you? Do you want to see? Do you want to know something so sweet? It like melts my heart. Look. Like, this is our little mantle. Um, I got married in my mom's wedding dress. Is that like not the cutest thing? And she's like so much shorter than me, but somehow it worked out. It was just barely, like the front of it was just barely to the floor. And so um, we didn't get pictures of me in it the day of. I know it sounds weird, but that's just the way it happened. And then I had another dress that I changed into. So we surprised my mom. Um, like two years later, I went and got like formal pictures taken in her wedding dress. And it turned out so cute. So I'll show you the picture. And then maybe I'll go show you her wedding dress picture. Here we go. So here it is. This is Debbie's wedding dress. Like how freaking fun is that? And so we tried to replicate like the same bouquet. She didn't have roses, but I wanted roses. <laughs> she was a little bit more old fashioned. Um, but I like loved her veil. It was like so beautiful. And I loved this like high neck. I just think it was really fun. So we, my dad, isn't he so cute? My dad totally thought of doing this. And we gave it to her, it was the last gift on Christmas morning, and she was bawling, and I was bawling. It was like the cutest thing ever. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you her. So here she is in her wedding dress. <laughs> we tried to make it like as similar as possible. 
So like I'm facing the same direction that she is and you can see her bouquet. Is that daisies you guys? Um, and so we tried to make it as similar as possible. I don't look, I didn't look quite as good turned that much, but, um, isn't that kind of fun? Eventually I want to get one in my house with her and me like side by side because I think that would be so fun. But isn't that so cute of my dad to make me go and do that? Like I'm dead on the floor. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a fun little fact about us. And then I'll show you my wedding, my other wedding dress. So here's a picture of all three of us. You guys usually I have like really dark hair. Is that funny to see me with dark hair? I really want to go back to it because it's such like a major upkeep to uh, keep my hair like that, like blonde. But here I am. Guys, this was, <laughs> this is the funniest story. So this is two years after I loved my train. It was so beautiful. So this was two years after my wedding. And fun fact, I literally couldn't zip up my dress. And so we used duct tape to like make Make it stay, I'm dying. <laughs> it literally kills me, but wasn't it like the most pretty dress ever? She also sent me some clips. So I'm gonna put those in right here. Hi Flosstube, sitting by the lagoon, still stitching on Santa. I haven't stitched since we left the plane, but now we're outside and it's about 83 degrees and it's beautiful and we're stitching by the lagoon. Okay, you guys, I thought I'd better video just a little bit. We're at two-step on the big island, and I'm going to pan up. I hope I don't make you sick, but my kids are out there in the water. They are snorkeling. They're, I think they're seeing some dolphins, which is so cool. And I am loving life, sitting here, stitching on the beach. Santa's still working. I need to change to another, another project. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick video for, um, uh, what are we called? Snug Harbor Crafts. And that to show you that we're really on the beach. See ya. Bye. Hey, Floss Tube. We're really at the pool. And this is my, didn't put on sunscreen very well. And uh, still working on come set the leaves. Some set the wind to the leaves one day. And, um. We just booked our um, dolphin adventure, and we're gonna do that on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we are gonna drive to Hilo, which is where the volcano is, and we are going to see the volcano from a helicopter. That was the only way we could finally get to see it. So we will take video of that and include it in our next floss tube, but we're pretty excited. The grandkids will go, and my son and his wife and Dave and I, and I am nervous about the helicopter. I get so motion sick. But I'll take my pill, and hopefully I'll be okay. So, um, really sunny here, having a great time, getting quite a bit of stitching done. So, um, hope you're having a good week. I hope you enjoy the tour of Kef's house. Oh, it was so fun to see all the videos from StitchCon. You guys, everybody that posted, thank you so much. I really missed you. Hopefully, Kef and I can come to another retreat. You guys, it looked so much fun. I was very jealous. So have a great rest of the week. Hope you get a lot of stitching done. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Floss Tube. Meanwhile, hi floss tubers. You've been getting a lot of different versions of me this floss tube. <laughs> um, I really rushed through the house, trip, but I am gonna include it. I have a before video of what it looks like um, right when we bought it, like <clears throat> without painting and new carpet and everything. Okay, guys, this is our new home. Got a nice little fireplace right here and those glass shelves, really artsy. And that. I almost want to demo that wood and put it in the gray LUT.
big spacious area that smells like a 1950s uh like eggnog party or something So this is, yeah, our backyard, it's beautiful. Lots of fond memories will be made here. And then I did like a quick video yesterday and it shows like how we did the trim. We did trim white, the walls are gray. And then, yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's just a fun little house. And it's just been a super crazy week. All right, you guys, so this is it. Isn't this window amazing? I'm dead. This is just all of the crap that we have brought in today. This is amazing. This is a massage table that we got from Amazon. And it's been one of the better purchases we've made, but Steven would tell you that I'm not giving him enough massages on it. Anyhow. This is all of our holiday decorations. Um, this is a cute little dining room, which also goes into our kitchen. And then you can either go downstairs, which we're hoping to rent out for an Airbnb. We just installed this door. Or we have this cute coat closet. Debbie just loves this. It's like classic 50s, 60s house. Um, we just painted these and the, obviously these are off right now. This is going to be our office area. Both Steven and I have jobs that we do a lot from home. So we're hoping this whole area is gonna be kind of like a U-shaped desk situation so that we can both have our monitors and work. And it has a nice little closet. And then there's a small little room over here. It's going to be like Harley's room slash our storage. We're going to put an elliptical right here. And they left us this TV, which is really nice. This is our big bathroom with a big tub. And then this is our master bedroom. We're scared that it's not going to fit very much. But bed. And then it has a small bathroom right here. And that's the upstairs. Look, you guys, here is dog sleep paw prints on our heart. I need to frame it. Show you guys the downstairs super quick. So you just go down these stairs. And we have another big room right here that we just carpeted. I just painted all of this. We're gonna eventually take this out. And this is where a little projector theater situation is gonna be. And then there's another fireplace here. We have, you guys would love this, this bathroom. <laughs> I love, I die. Um, and then this another big room. I feel like this is bigger than our master bedroom. And then we have this laundry room down here. So it's kind of exciting. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and I'm so sorry that the camera is like at an angle when Steven and I were filming. Didn't catch that. It drives me nuts. I hope it didn't drive you guys too nuts. I just got off the phone with my mom. She's getting sick in Hawaii. I mean, I think I'd rather be sick in Hawaii than in Utah, but it kind of stinks. For some reason she gets sick after going on a plane. I don't know why. She's around sick kids all year long and she gets sick on a plane. It's crazy. So she has like a really sore throat. It's really annoying, but she's still having a blast in Hawaii. 2,000 years later. Hi guys. Um, I'm back at my parents' house. They're in Hawaii and I've been I need to turn off the radio. I've been um, watering all their plants for them. And uh, I feel like this just wouldn't be a floss tube without showing you some cross stitching, you know? So this is Debbie's, <laughs> this is Debbie's cross stitching bin. She keeps it down here where we record. Um, 
I thought I'd show you this little backdrop of um, what we have usually behind us because you guys don't really ever see it. My mom's always loved this. It looks like just like me, Matt, and Jason. Like Jason's always had darker hair, Matt had lighter hair, Matt was a toehead, and that's me. That's how where Debbie puts her cute things. And she hung up her, what is this you guys, Lizzie Kate? I don't know, I'm assuming it's Lizzie Kate. Isn't that so cute? And this is one of our favorite quotes. So you, oh, she has this little thing hanging right here. Isn't that cute? This is more like a Debbie house tour than, oh look, here's this. Do you guys remember that? It's hanging right here. Isn't that kind of cute? They're just the cutest. I'm going to show you guys some of Steven's cool projects. Because I'm a really crafty person. He's very crafty, you guys. So the first thing we're going to show them is... Some pajamas I made in the 8th grade. <laughs> I still have them. So I made these in my fax class in the 8th grade. Which wow. Which was circa 2005. And, and they're cows. The cows and teddy bear cowboys. Steven loves cows. I can draw them really well. He can? Maybe, that's what... maybe we'll even do a tutorial one time on how I could draw one. That is a good idea, Steve. And the elastic on this is like falling apart. It's like crunchy and gross. Yeah, you know, it's old. He just said that we could throw them away, but I feel bad. They are really cute. I got the fabric at Joann's. Good old Joann's. <laughs> <laughs> and then his second amazing crafty project is i love legos yes so i'm specifically into really just three genres of legos i like marvel i guess marvel four for marvel and dc so here's giant ant-man <laughs> i built it why myself. have i never seen that because like you probably you don't pay attention when i show you stuff here's an x-wing although i hate the new star wars movies i do appreciate good art so this is when it goes into battle mode wow <laughs> luke we're going in and look, it even shoots little blasters. You guys, he's so protective of his Legos. I am. My my brother-in-law is like, so you're not going to let your kids play with them? And I'm like, no. And I'll buy them their own. And he says, so you're like president business from the Lego movie. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> no shame. So I like Star Wars, DC, and Marvel. I have a huge thing right here of them. It's not a Lego brand. It's from Mega Blocks, But from, I really like the video game Halo on the Xbox. Oh, yeah. So I really like those. It's like here's a ghost from the Halo video game series, which probably none of you have ever played, but you probably heard but of it. But maybe you're like grandkids or... or your kids or your siblings. Correct. Anyway, so those are mine. That is Steven's crafty side. And I guess if you could call artsy, I'm starting to get into video game streaming. Wow. But I don't know if that'd be something you guys would be interested in. <laughs> Some people consider it an art. If you ever want to follow it, it's just the Kenyans on Twitch. That's Steven's crafty corner for today. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. I wanted to talk to you guys about Debbie a little bit and how her favorite month, or maybe it's just our favorite month. We need to talk to them about how crazy Debbie gets at parades. So Debbie gets really fun at parades. She cheers for every float. Every single float that goes by, she will scream so loud, you guys. And we, Kefren, Kefren records it every year. And literally every year I post on my Instagram and people go hog wild Which is it. funny. Same response every year. People love it. They so. do. They love it. So, you guys, I'll link the video of her below. It is so funny. It's on our YouTube channel. Um, she just goes hog wild. And literally, you guys are going to freaking love it. If you're having a bad day... You have to go and watch this. You do, and our eventual goal is to get her to the ultimate parade on planet Earth, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Debbie has never we're been to New our, York we're City. We're gonna start our GoFundMe account right here, get Debbie to the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Right here, follow She's it. never been to New York City. Literally, every year when Santa comes by on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it's like the most magical moment ever, and we have to get her there. But the only issue is, is that some years it's like snowing and miserable. But it's also really expensive. And it is. I looked up flights and I was tempted to get some, but it is really expensive. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I wanted to share with you guys my whip right now. I haven't gotten anything done from it from Costa Rica. Like but... whip, whip and nae, nae No. 
It's called a work in progress. Oh. So here it is. This is from the Welcome Foolish Mortals. And I've all, I think, no, I still have a little bit left on the C, I think. I didn't even know you were working on that. Yeah. So I'm super excited. You guys, I finally figured out that on the chart, <laughs> I can't show you guys the chart, but I finally figured out that it's like graph style and it is in clumps of 10. And that's really helped me. Makes Harleen excited. I did not realize that it was in clumps of 10. Neither did I. And it's kind of embarrassed that she didn't know that. Because so, I expect her to know these things. I'm like super happy. And did I tell... Uh, I forgot to tell you guys that I, for, um, I forgot scissors on the plane there. So I literally couldn't do anything the whole plane ride there. I was doing emails, but I was so upset. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing week. And we will be back to our regular scheduled programming next week. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. And we will see you guys next week. And all comments are welcome. And thank you for letting me be here today. Yes, it I was know so it's fun. different. I know it's probably not the most exciting, but it's important to me. It was so fun. Yeah. So we love you guys. Have a good week. Bye.